Hello, hello, hello. Hello, team. Hello, beautiful. How you guys doing today? Uh, we are so excited to come to you. It is Wednesday, right? <laughs> it is. I don't know which day of the week is. My kids just went to school today. So for me, um, freedom, I can get back to business and, um, you know, get get my get things, you know, kicking off uh, with a bang here for the fourth quarter. Um, we are so excited to be here with you today. I have my partner in crime, Linda Weber. Say hi, Linda. Hey, everybody. So Linda, are we on? Are we good? Are we live? I do believe so. <laughs> good, good. Hey, if you are, um, you know, catching us live, make sure that if you're a leader or have a colleague, that, you know, tag them, get them on here. They can watch it now or watch it later. If you watch it later, hashtag replay, feel free to throw in your questions, comments, um, advice, things that you do that help um, in terms of like fashion and, and pro tips on how to earn big. But what we're going to do today is talk about how you can use fashion in your business to promote it. It's something that is tangible. And we're excited to kind of give you guys those tools and tips and a process, right? A strategy for success. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let me share my screen here and we will kick things off. Okay, hopefully everyone can see my screen. Um, again, we are talking about fashion pro tips. We are Teen Hello Beautiful, myself, Natasha Leitner, and the beautiful Linda Weber. We are here to share with you our tips and tools for success. Look at this fashion on here. Isn't it gorgeous? And let me give you guys a little hint. When you see Linda and I talking, we are also wearing the gorgeous fashion. So hopefully you'll be able to check it out. Um, but we are excited to talk to you guys today and kind of walk through the strategy for success. Again, if you're a leader, feel free to tag your team members on here. If you're not on Team Hello Beautiful and you're watching this on YouTube, welcome. Feel free to share it on your team pages with people that could use this information um, for success. So here's the agenda, fashion tips and how to earn big with fashion. Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to talk about why fashion, why is fashion a gateway product, not only to get the conversations, but to many other opportunities to cross sell and upsell different products we have at Avon the benefits of demos and why you need to hop on that train, um, how to share Avon, um, sharing with customers and how you kind of close that sale. And really the last thing is the product and sales cycle. It's kind of the story that behind how you kind of, you know, get it all done from, you know, understanding the product to closing the deal. We're going to give you that quick and dirty. Um, and, you know, show you guys how you can get this done and earn big. All right, Linda, why fashion? Okay, so why not fashion, right? I mean, everybody loves fashion. Don't we all wear clothes? <laughs> I mean, I do. I know everybody else um, does as well. So why Avon fashion? Avon fashion is amazing. Let's be honest. Um, if you've worn a piece of their uh, clothing, it's amazing. It feels soft. It's, it's wonderful and it's very good quality but it's also affordable. So why spend your money at other businesses, you know, big box retailers, um, you know, other places online when you um, can purchase from your own store and where your own fashion is going to benefit you um, in the end. Okay. So the other reason um, is for all body types. Let's be honest, none of us are the exact same size and shape, right? We all have different figures and such, um, but Avon, you know, carries sizes from extra small to 3X, all right? So it's, it covers just about everybody. Um, it's on trend. We're not talking old school styles here. We're talking stuff that is new age, just coming out. Um, it's, it's just a new popular, it's on trend. Okay. Um, it's an easy way for us to wear and share our brand. Um, you know, it's available. It's at our fingertips. Uh, if we're wearing it and we're sharing it again, we're only benefiting ourselves. It's an easy way to promote your business. And we'll talk about that a little bit further in depth, um, in a couple slides. Um, but it's also a great conversation starter. Um, it's just an easy way to wear your stuff and open the door for many possibilities. 
So with oh. that, I'll hand that back over to Natasha. Yeah. And you know, it's so, it's, it's, you're so right. I mean, what I love is first of all, just to kind of elaborate one step further, when we say all body types and sizes and shapes, um, what I love about Avon fashion is it really does look great on everybody. I don't care if you're tall, short, um, if, if you're thin or voluptuous, I have sold fashions to every shape and size. And I love that everybody not only looks good, but women feel really good in this, in, in these fashions. And the most important thing about like fashion is that you want to feel good in it. It's a statement, you know, it's on you. Everyone can see it. So when you feel really good in your fashion and you feel confident, it, it exudes. And I think that that's kind of the goal, not only for yourself, but for your customers, right? We want to make our customers feel beautiful inside and out. And if we can help them find something that makes them feel beautiful and confident, then we are winning. And I tell you right now, once they love our fashions, they're going to come back and buy it over and over again. And finally, that whole on trend, listen, the shirt I'm wearing, the shirt Linda's wearing, the items in, that we are promoting here in the fall, if you go out online and especially on like Instagram, Stitch Fix, you go to Macy's, any anywhere out there, you're going to see these styles. It's, you know, the colors that are on trend, you know, plaid is on trend, olive is on trend. And of course, you know, I don't think animal print will ever go off trend, but I love that we have these different styles of that. So, you know, it, this is the, this is the kind of information you need to be thinking about. You know, what's out there and is Avon comparable? And absolutely they are. Linda, you hit the nail on the head. We've got quality fashions and, you know, what better way to, uh, you know, promote them is to share and wear. Why would you spend your money on clothes elsewhere if you can buy it from Avon? And not only it helps support, you know, your goals, but it's going to help promote your business. So Linda, you are, you are spot on with all of these. And I'll tell you, it excites me. I am so excited. Can you tell I'm excited, Linda? I love fashion and I can tell you do too. I do. I do. Um, so we're going to talk about demos and, you know, what is a demo? Well, if you're new to the, to Avon, a demo is the opportunity to buy, um, products in advance two campaigns in advance of when they actually are released, um, out in, you know, um, in the market. So what that does is it gives you that exclusive opportunity as a representative to not only get the product in your hand, get the fashion and other products that we are promoting in hand, but it gives you a chance to set yourself up for success. We're going to walk through the sort of the life cycle or the process, the strategy on how you promote fashion. But when you get this in your hands, two campaigns in advance, that's one whole month you're going to be able to promote it. You're going to be able to share your personal testimony, take some pictures of the product. Um, you know, and I can tell you right now, sharing your personal testimony is the key to success in this business. Your customers trust you, you know, are they going to trust just looking at the brochure? Maybe they'll, they'll say, okay, I see a tall, very skinny model wearing it. Um, but uh, she's not telling me how much she loves the product, right? She's not telling me how it fits and feels right. So your personal testimony is honestly the key to success in this business. And that is not only with fashion, but it's with everything that we have. And as Linda sort of, you know, alluded to earlier, be a walking, talking billboard. You can represent your brand so easy with fashion because it's tangible. It's something that you wear. Now, um, I want to just make sure you guys understand how this works. As a representative, you get the opportunity to, to demo two of every single item. And when I say item, line item, okay? So for example, the shirt that I'm wearing, if it comes in extra small, to 3X, I can order two of every single size in advance. So the opportunity here is for you to not only get the size that you need, but you can sell this in advance to your customers. You can take those orders and you have a limited amount of opportunity, which is actually a big amount when it comes to fashion to sell these fashions early and get them in your customers' hands. Finally, you know, some of you out there might be thinking, you know, I love all the fashion or I love the jewelry, um, but, you know, I just can't afford to buy it all. Now, I 
really focus on fashion and skincare. Those are probably the two biggest sellers. But, um, you know, for me, I'm going to demo most of this, the fashion, because that's, that's my way of, sh you know, showing it off to my customers. But if you can't afford, um, all the products, first of all, if you can just get one, right. If you can get one item or two items, maybe a shirt and your favorite necklace, something that you love that you can promote. Um, you know, we're going to, there's going to be opportunities for you to share other people test other people's testimonies, but one of the things that you can do in advance is also buy the brochures. You always buy your brochures to campaigns in advance. And what that's going to do is you're going to have the opportunity, okay, and I have it right here. I have this in hand to share this with your customers. If you can't afford to show off all the fashion, start promoting it by giving them the brochure before they can get it. And guess what? Throw your throw a little sticker on the front that says, see fashion on page you know, 100, um, give them the opportunity to maybe have a special deal if they pre-order. Because remember, you can get this a month in advance. This is another way that you can, you know, demo in a in sense the products without actually getting them in hand. So really important, all demos that you buy are, um, you know, go towards your goal. So if you're working towards a sales goal, if it's going to help you with your commission rate, that you can, everything that you are buying for yourself counts. So I want you guys to remember that when you're working towards goals, you know, all of these types of purchases help. And remember, it's a business expense. Um, these are things you're using to promote your business. So I want you guys to start thinking differently. This isn't, um, you know, you know, do you like Avon? Do you want Avon? How can you be the consultant? How can you be the person that's strategic? Okay. If you plan this out, you're going to have a, a lot more success in this business. And fashion is such a fun way to do that. All right, Linda, let's let's really deep dive a little deeper here on how you share, wear, you know, promote fashion. What are some places and things that you can do? Well, let's be honest, it's almost every single day. I mean, <laughs> you know, if most of my people will probably see me in a Avon shirt of some sort. You know, of course I'm a t-shirt and jeans kind of girl, but um, I love to have um, my Avon uh, fashion. So there's a lot of different opportunities to actually uh, wear and share Avon. So the first place, you know, Facebook personal page. If you're posting a picture of yourself, anyway, a lot of us do selfies. Why not wear your Avon stuff? People are probably going to be like, oh my gosh, you have such a cute necklace on or a cute shirt, or I really like that. Um, another way is your business page. You know, a lot of these, these things, you can just share the photo, you know, take a couple, one or two snaps and, you know, share it to multiple places all at one time. Instagram, YouTube, making TikToks. Um, send an email. You know, I send an email to my customers. I do a little newsletter and send it out to them. Uh, snap some pictures of you wearing the new stuff, you know, and the new sales or whatever you've got going on and email it to your customers. Um, text a picture of yourself and say, hey, did you see this new necklace that's coming out? I know you really like silver um, or I know you like big bulky jewelry. Hey, check this new fashion out. Um, instant messenger on Facebook. Wear your Avon everywhere, especially if you're going to go somewhere nice, dress up, wear it. Um, even if you're not going somewhere nice, dress up, wear it. Uh, I wear it to the grocery store, you know, and the grocery store lady will tell me, oh, I really love your earrings. I really love your necklace. I'm like, oh, really? Thank you. I, you know what? These are Avon. And they're like, what? So um, wear it. Um, wear it on the social media. You can, and even if you, like Natasha had mentioned, even if you can't afford afford um, the demos at this moment. Okay. Let's be honest. I can't afford every single demo right now, but there's a lot of beautiful pieces that maybe one day I can get. Okay. Um, we can always download the pictures of these items and these products and, and the fashion from avon.com. They're there for us to download and use, use them, share them. Um, and then the last thing is the brochures, uh, digital and hard copy. Digital is free. It's a free thing to you from your free e-store. Use it. Um, it's so easy just to, you know, copy that link and share it um, or take in the, the brochure. Like Natasha had said, you know, I, I love to get my brochures in advance. Um, and, and especially if we've got fashion coming out, that stuff sells quick. 
So of course I want to make sure that I'm getting those brochures out to my customers as soon as possible so that I can start taking pre-orders and get those demos, you know, my, my two each size. Um, so there's a lot of ways to wear and share fashion. Take advantage of all of them. You may not do every single one, every campaign, um, but you know what, hit on a, at least a couple and really focus on those and be consistent with it. Totally true. And you know what, you said something that really is important to note. Fashion does not last long. And this is why you need to prepare, promote, and sort of pre-sell and close those deals early because once a size is gone, it's gone. It's just like if you go to Target, Macy's, your favorite retailer, if the size you love is gone, it's gone, right? Um, fat, if you go out into the mall, online, Instagram, everything is fall now. Like this is when you need to, you know, fashion is always coming out before you actually wear it. Although, you know, I'm welcoming the fall, Linda, because I just love wearing sweaters and long sleeves and my boots. I know that you wear boots all the time, even if you're in hot Texas, but, um, you know, I think that it's, it's important you guys start thinking in advance and that's where, you know, you're going to really win in this. So, you know, let's talk about kind of how you demo share and you close that sale. And it's important that you guys kind of think of this as a process, not just like tips and tools. This is actually how you're going to do it. Um, this is obviously a higher level, but what I want to do is share with you kind of what the steps are and kind of the way to promote your fashion in an organized way and with a strategy for success. So first of all, you're going to order um, the demos and brochures when they're available in advance of the launch. So you can do this two campaigns in advance, right? Um, as I mentioned, that's a whole month in advance um, uh, prior to it coming out and being online and available to your customers to buy on their own or through you, okay? So what you want to do is not only are you going to want to take a look at the what's new. Now, let me give you a little secret here. Usually when you order your um, products and put your orders in, you're going to get a what's new hard copy. It's not out there electronically yet, but you're going to get that in advance, you know, when you place an order. So you're going to be able to see the what's new in advance before it's even out on avon.com. So that's actually, if I had to say even a step prior, Linda, that would be where I would start first. It's gonna give you a chance to be like, okay, you know, what's going on? What's new, right? It's a, actually a really important tool. There's a lot of important information in those what's news. It basically looks like an oversized catalog. And I have one here, not the actual one that is related to it, but you can see it's a, an extra big looking catalog. It says what's new. This is what's new for 21. So this is actually the current what's new for campaign 19 that we're in, but this is a very important tool. So you're going to be able to have that before it's even out on avon.com, um, even for demos. Okay. So that gives you a chance. To take care of that. If yes. I can pipe in for just a second, you know, pipe in. Right. that's a great way. You know, the what's new is coming out, you know, in advance, you can start strategizing those campaigns. And I think that is the, the big thing with any campaign is the strategy going in. A hundred percent. You know what? You got to strategize. You got to plan because then you can plan out. Like, for example, like you're saying, maybe you're looking at that what's new and you're going to start to maybe put an order of things that you want, things that you can afford, create that budget. Right. And maybe, you know, you can buy a one or two things now, but maybe if you sell and, you know, you sell pre-sell, you'll be able to buy a couple more things for yourself. Um, I want you guys to really be thinking about what is your budget? What can you afford and what are you going to demo immediately? And when I say that, you need to be ready on the day one, the day one that that what's new is available to buy online. You need to be ready on that Wednesday to put in your order because you want to get that in your hands immediately. So that's step one, right? Ordering your demos and brochures immediately. Just because you can't get it all does not mean that you can't put one or two items in your cart and get that because the longer you wait, first of all, again, 
even if it's a demo, sometimes things aren't available or sizes run out because there's only, you know, limited or maybe with supply chain demand, you want to get those in your hands. So I recommend that you are ready to go and you plan and you pick out what you want, even if it's one or two items and you put that order in the first day. Now, the what's new, we usually try to get a digital copy of some sort in advance and we do put that on the team page. So make sure you guys are looking out for that. Okay. Next, okay, so let's say, you know, your first step, you ordered it. The next thing you're going to do, regardless, while you're waiting for your order to come in, right, it takes, you know, between three and five business days for your orders to come to your house. What I want you to do is I want you to create the buzz, right? Create the buzz in social media and share those stock photos. Remember, Linda said that you can go on avon.com and you can download the pictures. You can download them. You just go to the the what's new tab, and you can go and you, you see the pictures, you can save them to your phone, to your computer. What you want to do is you want to share those, okay? If you have a VIP group, I usually put them in a VIP group and I say, hey guys, this is what's coming. What do you love? What's what's on your wish list? Comment, like the things that you love. It gives me an idea to see what are people eyeing up and who do I need to follow up with? And if I see that someone hasn't commented, I usually tag them on that because I know that I know my customers who love fashion. And when you really sell a lot of fashion, you get to know what your customers like. So you can really do the other things that um, Linda suggested, you know, getting it out there. But this is social media. Like it's such a great way. Text it, put on social media, but download. Okay. Create the excitement, folks. That is part of getting people like excited to want to get these in their hands. Okay. So that's the second thing you're going to do. So once you get your products in hand, you're going to want to start sharing pictures of you using it and wearing it. Real people wearing fashion. It's the look, the feel, the fit. You can talk about how much you love it. And like Linda said, even every time you take a selfie, you better have something Avon on a lipstick, you're, um, you want to make sure you have some clothing, maybe it's some jewelry, whatever it might be. I want you guys to really be thinking about sharing and wearing all the time. You know, it does feel good. Even if you're going nowhere, you should be getting yourself put together, putting on some Avon and creating some content so that you can even use it later. Okay. It's that's that kind of like strategy, but for example, today, um, Linda and I are both wearing Avon fashions. I took the opportunity to get my hair done and put some makeup on instead of looking like a bum. <laughs> and because I knew I was going to see you guys today that I went out and I actually took some pictures that I'm then going to use to promote the shirts. Okay. The shirt today. So that's what I did. But what it does is when you have it in hand, you have a chance to kind of, you know, not only talk about it, but you can use it for your social media. Okay. The next thing, and Linda, at any time, feel free to hop in and, you know, give any other suggestions. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to schedule a video or a live with your customers. Um, you also want to think about offering a deal for the pre-sale. So one of the things that I do, as soon as I'm, you know, get the product in hand, um, I'm going to do a live. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. You can do a live. If you have all the fashion, you can do a live. Both Lynn and I just did lives on our VIP pages. And what I usually do is I'll take the fashion. I'll usually wear an outfit that I can easily undress on camera. So I'll make sure I have some sort of like tank top and I wear, I usually wear uh, leather pants a lot because they're very slimming anyway, but it's easy to wear under things like you can wear um, leggings um, or your favorite pair of jeans. But what I do is I actually undress on down to this outfit and I put every single piece on because I want people to see how it feels and fits on me live. It gives them a chance because if they're bought, if they bought the fashion in the past, they know their sizing, but they're going to know what it looks like on a person. Because as much as I love these gorgeous ladies that are sitting in our catalog, let's be real. They're usually like 5'10", um, and like 120 pounds. Well, I'm not 5'10 and 120 pounds. So, um, you know, I usually try to let them know what it looks like on me. And I think that they enjoy it. They can ask questions. They get really excited. But guess what? Let's say, for example, back to the whole, I you don't have enough to buy the whole line, or you can only get one or two things. You could take the brochure and do the same thing. Just take your brochure 
but do a live and talk about why you're so excited because lives and videos um, are interactive. And what it does is it allows people to hear you talk about it. Um, so as you can see, we're talking about a lot of different strategies here, you know, buying and getting it in advance, promoting it on social media. Okay. We're getting people excited. Then you're going to talk about it. Okay. You're going to share it live. And then finally, what I want you guys to be thinking about is, you know, following up with every person that liked your, your post that said you looked pretty that talked about fashion, other people out there that maybe commented that, that they wanted this. This is your opportunity to follow up and get those pre-orders, right? Because you Asha, have the opportunity to do it early. Yes. You know, you, you talked about how you did your live and you know how you do it. You know, obviously I don't have all the fashion available to me right now. You know, maybe one day I will, um, but for now I don't. And so I do exactly what you, you know, suggested, you know, I've, I've got my one or two pieces and I'll wear it and share it and show it off and talk about how it feels and what I like about it. Um, you know, and I always let people know, hey, what size I'm wearing. This is a large, you know, this is what a large looks like on me. Um, but I, you know, I like to, and of course I'm still learning this too, um, but showing the brochure and showing a couple images of that and then sharing the photos as well after the live. Awesome. And how did your customers receive that? Were they excited? And, you know, it, I, I always feel like that people just get excited when you're excited. I think so. You know, um, I just love all of my customers anyway. They're, they're like a bunch of sisters, um, and family. Um, but, um, you know, everybody likes being able to see the stuff on you. They like to, they want to know what you think about the products, you know, and when you can share that real time, you know, uh, there, I don't think there's anything more appreciative from someone when you can share an actual um, information about a product because you're using it yourself, you know, a hundred percent. I think another thing to think about is, uh, you know, back to when Linda talked about ways to share, if you are a consultant in this business and not just pushing product, you know, you're going to go out and reach out to people who, you know, might like that. And it's okay if they don't, but say, Hey, I, I thought about you in this piece of fashion, whether you have it or not, that's when you do that outreach and you reach out to people to say, listen, I'm so excited. I had to share this with you because I think you would look amazing in this or I know you love olive green. So you're going to have to get that, uh, you know, animal print duster. Uh, it's just important that you guys start thinking a little bit outside the box and not two dimensional. You got to think about how you can be that consultant in this business. So, you know, these are kind of the steps that you do. And it, it, it's a time frame. I can even create a new slide on this and kind of give you that breakdown of like, this is, you know, where you are in a month, right? And this is, this is when you would do all these activities. I can you know, definitely update this and kind of share that life cycle on how you're going to promote that business, that, you know, these fashion pieces. All right, Linda, let's talk a little bit more about real share and wear and what it looks like. Okay. So sharing and wearing, what does it look like? So here's some great examples, um, you know, of different reps on our team who have shared them wearing the product or using the product, you know, um, I think we've used a couple of these, um, you know, examples in previous trainings, um, but you know what, these are great examples of it. We've got Janice here, you know, uh, talking about, um, you know, a, a, just asking a question, did anyone watch the new Fantasy Island last night? Who wore it better? You know, it's just, you know, talking about, um, I believe the, the jewelry there in that um, post, okay? It's something to, um, you know, get your customers excited and involved and engaged in your, your groups. Okay. Um, Jody, you know, is, is showing um, jewelry as well. Um, there's other, you know, so many different ways that you can do your pictures, you know, like in Janice's, you know, she's showing the full face with makeup and jewelry In Jody's, she doesn't have her full face on there. She's focusing on the necklace itself. And then she shows the other pieces that are available um, with that particular, um, that, you know, necklace um, and fashion jewelry. And then you've got Suzanne, you know, she's showing herself off full, full length, you know, photo of her wearing, um, I believe it's a dress in that photo and the jewelry as well. Okay. Um, and so, and she's telling you, Hey, you know what, this, this 
really fits true to size. This is um, this is a size I've got. This is what it looks like on me. Um, and she's letting you know, hey, if you order this size, it's going to be true to the size that you have. Um, and then the last one, I, this is just from my recent live I did several days ago. You know, I just popped on for just, just a few minutes. It wasn't a really long time showing, you know, one, talking about the items that I had previously purchased and coming out here very soon, um, but letting them know, hey, this is new. This is what it looks like on me. This is what I like about it. And so, you know, there's a lot of different ways that you can um, share and wear. And, you know, you, everybody has different um, skill sets, skill levels of, you know, doing, um, you know, posting images and stuff. You know, we talked about actually, um, you know, just downloading images. That's an easy thing to do on avon.com. But some of us may want to go on Canva and create a flyer, um, you know, get a little bit more creative, step outside that, uh, you know, the, the shell that we put ourselves in and do a TikTok, do a reel of you wearing the fashion. Um, even if it's just a snapshot picture of yourself, because you haven't quite um, gotten, you know, that comfortable with doing a live or a video, you can always take pictures and put upload those and with some music on TikTok and Reels um, to excite um, others about the things that you're already excited about. Yeah, you know, it's what a great idea and suggestion. If you're not comfortable doing the videos or let's say your skill set, just take pictures and you can create a reel on TikTok. And I'll tell you right now, I, I said this at convention um, when I was talking about, you know, being the expert content creator. Remember, you're the expert. If you are reading about the product, learning about the product, watching our educational lives about the product, you can you can really be the expert. And it's it's really from your perspective. It's your customers buy from you because they love you, they trust you, they're excited when you're excited. So, you know, they're going to love everything you do. What's fun about Reels and TikToks, as Linda said, is that you can add music and that kind of like invokes feeling and people get excited, especially these days, videos are really popular, even if it's just taking, um, you know, a picture or two and adding music to it, it still becomes that video. So that's a good way to do baby steps. I encourage all of you guys to go out there, get on TikTok and Reels and follow us, follow us, um, the leaders and other people on the team that are doing this. So you get some ideas. And I think that those are really, really great suggestions, Linda. Um, so what else? Can we do? Off of something you just said, you know, um, you know, customers are buying you and your personality too, you know? And so if you're not excited about something, why would you think that your customers are going to be excited about it? So they, they are buying into your business because of you. Sometimes it may be the product that gets them in the door, but a lot of times they're, they're buying into your business because of you and what you're portraying and how you are. If you're excited about your business, they're going to be excited to want to do business with you. So I just wanted to piggyback on that. Awesome. So let's see here. Um, so creating an event and offering a special deal. So, um, you know, Natasha had mentioned previously how, you know, uh, we both did an online, um, you know, live with our VIP groups. So the first thing is to do is to actually create the event, okay? Or let your customers know, hey, I'm gonna be going live and there's things that I want to show you, okay? So on the left side of the screen, you'll see um, Natasha had created a private online event for her VIP group, letting them know, hey, look, fall fashion's here, um, you know, come join me, let me show you what we've got coming out and um, getting people excited about what they're gonna be seeing. You know, she put a couple images of the, the new fall fashion out there to excite everybody. And then on the right here, these are ones that I did, you know, um, you know, after you create your event, you know, offer your customers a special deal. You know, I, I just put on mine, I actually had reused a Canva that I used previously. It took me probably five minutes just to change out photos and a couple dates there. Um, but letting people know, hey, this is something that I'm offering my customers, you know, grab them now now, meaning before they come out, so we know that you're going to get them, and then I'm going to give them a 10% discount, okay, and let them know I'm taking the pre-orders, and then, of course, I want to let them know, hey, it's going to be available on this date, 
can't guarantee it's going to be in stock, but they're going to be available online. And then also, you know, I, I do like a little, you know, hey, everybody who orders fashion is going to be entered into a, a little shopping spree. You know, I would love to be able to give them more of a shopping spree amount. Um, but again, I've only been selling the Avon for about a year and a half or so. So I'm working up to it, but I want to give back a little something as a thank you to my customers. Um, and so, and, and 10% off their next order. So I think, you know, creating an event, letting customers know, you know, showing them, hey, I'm going to go out live and show you some things and then offer them a special deal helps you promote the new fashion that is coming out and getting them more excited about it. I love that. And, you know, I think that people get excited about getting free gifts, free opportunities. And remember, you're just incentivizing them to shop. And to Linda's point, regardless of what you're offering, um, a discount, a product, a shopping spree, remember, you know, uh, with the exception of a discount, because that's, you know, you're giving some of your commission away, which is fine, because I think sometimes it's worth it to get people to spend more, but you get, remember, you get a discount on your products, you get a um, discount, even if you offer it a $25 shopping spree, you're going to get between 25 percent and 45 percent depending on your sales level so you're not even spending that full amount but the, that's the value of what what it is to that customer and you know I think that it's really great um and it just gets people excited I am more in in inclined to spend more money or maybe make a purchase if I know I'm get the potential to earn or get a discount so that also works for me I offer like you know either um I've offered a hundred dollar um, Avon shopping spree and I have been able to, you know, um, get people excited and, you know, people love it. So I think that that's super important and, you know, just, just promoting, sharing, getting people excited. It's all kind of part of that strategy. So here's the last and final thing we want to share with you. And this is just a kind of a recap, I would say, at a high level on what the, the new product life cycle is. So whatever your product is, today is fashion. But, you know, the, the important thing here is to remember that you need to become the expert. You need to learn about the products with trainings, Avon U, um, and when you learn about them and you are educated, remember, um, knowledge is power in this business. When you are the expert, that's when your customers are relying on you to share with them, okay? Not the other way around. Um, use the product. Demo and build your personal testimony. Use it. Share it. Wear it. Be a walking, talking billboard. That builds credibility, trust in the business, and excitement. Share. Linda, Linda gave you a million different options on how you can share your testimony and creating that buzz on social media, tests, text, DMs, and more. Um, but you know, it's important that you share. Uh, the next thing is really identifying who your target audience is. Who are you going to reach out to? Who is showing an interest? Who liked, loved, commented on your uh, particular post? Who do you know that just loves fashion in general? Who are you going to be proactively reaching out to that's going to get excited? So remember, this is not a passive thing. A direct sales is not passive. You have to be proactive and you have to be in front of your cu customers. And with time will come confidence. Just keep doing it and don't be worried about no's. Most people, if you approach them in the right way, they're going to be excited. Okay. We're not, we're not doing anything here, but sharing excitement. We're not saying, Hey, do you want to buy this? We're saying, Hey, I thought about you and I think this shirt would look amazing. Or, Hey, I've seen you wear clothes like this. This is something new at my Avon boutique. I was so excited. I had to share with you. That's it. You don't have to even say anything. Wait for them to respond. And that's kind of part of that engaging with that customer, starting the conversation with customers and potential customers and being that consultant, right? Being consultative and offering the opportunity to learn more, um, you know, or watch your live or, you know, give them some suggestions. That is really a, a beautiful way to connect with your, your customers and have that dialogue. Um, finally, not finally, but second you know, second to last is really closing that sale. We talked about that. It's all part of that follow-up 
So people that have shown interest or people that you think might be interested, follow up with them with new and existing customers, offer solutions, um, promos and deals, and close that sale. If you don't follow up in this business, you're not necessarily going to get the sale. That doesn't mean that they aren't interested, but people forget and they don't understand the sense of urgency, especially in fashion. Um, and then finally, it's that customer service. This is a customer service business. Follow up with the customer, make sure they're happy, ask them to give you a testimony and thank them for their business. That is the life cycle really for how we you know, do business. So without further ado, that was the quick and dirty fashion pro tips. Um, we hope that you found this helpful. Um, you still have time to demo. The fashion comes out next Wednesday, right, Linda? And, you know, get out there, even if it's just putting a couple pictures out there, get excited um, and start following up with people and get those orders because this is a really great opportunity to get people interested because some people, right, Linda, they don't necessarily, maybe they'll say, oh, I don't wear makeup or I don't use skincare. Well, do you wear clothes? <laughs> everybody wears clothes. You know, if, if they say, I don't like clothes, well then, you know, then that's just really, that's you got to move on from that customer. But, you know, um, this is really such a great opportunity. Um, Linda, thank you so much for joining me today to help promote these fashion pro tips. Um, and we hope, yeah, we hope you guys are, you know, successful uh, now and in the future with these type, types of tips. So anyway, thank you so much. And we hope you have an incredible day. Thanks, guys.